Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a Q&A all about your questions about living in DC, working in DC, basically just being based in DC. I asked you guys on Instagram for some questions and you guys came through. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer some of the most common ones that I feel like I get on every video or in my DMs like every week. The first question I'm gonna be answering is easily my number one at most asked question and that is best neighborhoods to live in in DC. And I feel like I've answered this a couple of times now. I really hate answering this question just because I feel like everybody has such individual needs in terms of like metro stations that they live nearby what amenities they want nearby if you want to live in a residential area versus like a high-rise apartment complex my biggest tip here is just to do your own research and i know that that's not what anybody wants to hear but i think that's what you need to hear. I personally would make sure whatever neighborhood you're moving to, it checks your boxes in terms of metro or bus accessibility and just the type of lifestyle you wanna live, whether that's more residential or more apartment complex, like busy versus quiet, that kind of thing. If I personally had to move tomorrow, I would look in DuPont Circle, Logan Circle, Shaw, Noma, in Capitol Hill primarily. A few other neighborhoods I would consider but wouldn't be my absolute first choice would be like Columbia Heights, Parkview area. I've heard good things, I'm just not like super familiar with those neighborhoods as much. And then also I would roughly consider Navy Yard. I feel like it's a really trendy place to live right now. It's just not my personal favorite but I understand why people want to live there so hopefully that was helpful if you are moving to the area and don't know where to start if you live here you're probably like you just named basically every residential neighborhood in dc which is kind of true um i also got a couple questions about safety in dc if i feel safe walking home at night how i feel with like current leadership and if i was worried that it was going to get worse between november 3rd and january 21st and i would say as a whole i feel pretty safe here i think no matter where you go at night as a young female in any city you feel a little bit on edge but i wouldn't say that i feel more unsafe here compared to literally anywhere else and i've been at night um as a whole i feel like public transit's pretty safe at night i personally tend to uber if it's past like 10 p.m or so one just because tracking on metro slows down a lot after the work hours end and it's not always super convenient depending on where you're going or how many people you're with i'd say i feel pretty safe walking at night as well there's some specific areas that i try to avoid or depending on where the walk is like if i'm walking to the grocery store from my apartment i feel fine doing that just because i know my area very well at this point um but if i was somewhere i wasn't as familiar i'd probably just take an uber if i was on the fence about it it's not worth the 10 bucks to get home in my opinion but as a whole i feel pretty safe just walking around day to day here as far as politically safe um i don't think we're at too much bigger of a risk than we've ever been at just because no matter who's in office there's always going to be someone who hates that person with an extreme passion and is willing to take extreme measures to act upon that i guess i am aware of the fact that if the white house were to get bombed today i would be gone like out for the count for sure however i feel like that's just not that likely dc is such a security heavy city because of all of the politicians and just like political business that's done here it's so easy to forget and i forget myself too sometimes but there are so so many undercover people in the city on top of buildings on the streets uh, there's for sure systems underground that we don't know about that keep the city safe so if that's your biggest concern with moving here i personally wouldn't let that stop you but do what's best for you the next question i got a couple times was if i've been going on dates since quarantine and how dc is handling dating right now and i have been i don't talk about my personal life too too much on this channel but i have been going on some hinge dates here and there throughout the last like two three months or so once things started like opening back up in the city i personally felt okay like going and meeting up with someone outside at a park you know like something like that i'd say the biggest difference is that i've noticed one a lot more creative with dates in terms of like meeting up outside or drinking on someone's rooftop and stuff like that like trying to make sure that everything is socially distanced at least at first and then secondly i think COVID has really sped up the timeline of having conversations that you would either wait a couple weeks into having or 
just simply never have as far as like what your intentions are how many people you've seen in the last like week if you're sleeping with anybody else like things like that um just because we are in a pandemic and you do need to be careful just because it does really affect the other person where a year ago it really wouldn't have on the same scale so i think COVID's kind of expedited that process a little bit at least in my experience and then the last thing i'd say is just taking more precaution after to make sure that you are healthy and safe um i know for me like i'm back in office pretty much full time now so i know that if i do something a little bit more reckless if you will like i need to make sure that my health is okay before i go back into my office whether that's like getting tested waiting two weeks you know like whatever that is um like i said i don't really like to dive into my personal life but i feel like you guys are understanding what i'm saying here someone asked if i would ever do a chill meetup post covid and yes for sure i was actually in the process of planning one with a local restaurant i was so excited about it i basically wanted to rent out a small room for brunch somewhere and have like 20 spaces i don't know if that's too many too little and just have like a really fun casual brunch i would really really love to host this like a very casual brunch where everybody can kind of sit at a big table and get to know one another because i feel like my demographic is pretty neat at this point so we're all roughly around the same age mainly female um working nine to five jobs and i just think it'd be a really cool way to meet people and for you all to meet each other as well i have no idea on what would be a realistic timeline for that right now but when it's safe and comfortable to do so that's definitely something i would love to do someone asked what the biggest change i saw in myself was being in dc postgrad the biggest change i saw in myself was letting go of other people's opinions of me especially people who don't actually know me my channel definitely grew a decent amount over the last year and with that brought a lot of new opinions and stuff like that which is fine i know i've touched on this before i think i'm pretty willing to accept constructive criticism or if i need to be called out because i did something wrong i feel like i have good quality friends in my life that will definitely do that if i need it but as far as like random people's opinions of me or like friends of friends people i just know like kind of loosely i think i've gotten a lot better at not getting hung up on their perceptions of me because at the end of the day it's not really my business what they think of me um as long as i'm working towards being a better person and you know showing up for my friends my job and you know like things like that i feel like i'm in a good place so i feel like that's the biggest change that i've seen in myself i got a lot of questions about what it's like to live here with the current leadership and it's fucking tough i am beyond tired of that little cheeto crusty ass in office um i'm really hoping that in november we see a change with that so if you are not registered to vote please do so your vote definitely counts but i do think that living here really holds me accountable as far as staying up to date with what's going on i am definitely more in tune with like my local leadership and specific people in the house and senate that i wasn't necessarily aware of when i was in college and i don't know if that's because of postgrad as a whole or living here probably a combination of both but i think it's been good for me it's really powerful to live in the center of it where it's so energetic and just constantly engaged um so i really like it i got a couple questions about the public transport system reliable expensive convenient i would say as a whole it is pretty reliable right now it's a little bit dicey because of tracking and maintenance work and stuff like that but as a whole i feel like the metro system is relatively reliable there's always like random breakdowns but if there is they normally have shuttle buses so it's not the end of the world not necessarily convenient pre-covid i also took the bus a decent amount i would say that that was less reliable like one would eventually come but if it said it would be there in four minutes sometimes that meant 10 or 15 minutes um so not great but again like not the end of the world it's reliable but not nearly as reliable as it is in a lot of european cities where i feel like it's on the dot for sure coming like without a doubt i feel like it's a little bit more up for debate here as far as price i'd say it's a little bit more expensive than most cities a monthly subway pass is significantly cheaper than a monthly metro pass but i'd say most jobs offer some sort of compensation for public transit mine doesn't but most do so look into that if you are concerned about the price maybe 
the last question I'm going to answer is how to stay on budget when you want to try everything that DC has to offer. I really liked this question because I feel like it's very relatable. I would say one, taking advantage of all the free stuff DC has to offer. Almost all of the museums are free. All of the parks are free to my knowledge. But I've also had pretty good luck using Facebook or Eventbrite to find free like local pop-up things, which have been really fun. Besides that, I would say just finding cheaper things to do in the city. If I think you can get pretty creative with what you want to do if you want to experience like a coffee shop like maybe you just get an iced coffee instead of an iced latte and take it on a walk with a friend and walk around the monuments or you know like walk around a different neighborhood stuff like that i think there's a lot of things that you can do on a budget and still experience them COVID has really made me appreciate going on picnics and i think those can be as expensive or cheap as you want them to be you could go all out and bring a full like cheese board or you could literally bring a water bottle that you refilled from your apartment for free so would not recommend going out right now but in normal times definitely at pre-gaming and avoiding spending like hundreds of dollars out on drinks is always great um and just getting creative with what you can do in your budget and finding kind of like workarounds i think is relatively easy to do as i'm sure you guys can tell by the lighting the afternoon sun is coming in and i feel like i've been rambling for quite some time now so i'm going to go ahead and wrap up this week's video here if you guys want to see a part two to this definitely let me know i didn't even get to like half of your guys's questions and obviously love talking about dc i am so biased but i love living here and love talking about it if you want to participate in future q a's i will have my instagram link down below i'm always asking you guys questions on there and polls for what you want to see on my channel and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and your support as always and i will talk to you guys next week mm -hmm.